little book. No way. We got a little book in the building. In the building. She is in here. Oh, that means something. Oh, that means something. I know y'all know what that spiritual ladybug means. Y'all know what it is. Tap in if you don't know. Tap in. You know, you got to Google that. Because that's some spiritual alignment right there. Because we inside the studio. And a ladybug is just on the ring light? How they work? We going to keep that, keep that rolling. What's up, family? I am Tara Chantel. I'm just coming with you real quick. So, you know, share some little laughter your way because we all need some laughter we all need some fun and you know i am personally a fan of comedy i'm getting started in the comedic stand-up realm so you know this is gonna be like my first of many jokes but of course i gotta just keep it real with you real quick because they always thinking they know who i am when i tell you who i am because i tell you you know i am a child free black liberated woman out here black and i'm proud baby and they always then go by saying oh you're going to have kids one day and i'm like did you not just hear what i said did that just go over your head because you want to hear what you want to hear because you know we got selective hearing up, up in here but i always get this i always get that i'm going to change my mind like how dare you not want to have kids like the audacity and i'm thinking in my head like i came in this world alone child free that's how i'm gonna exit so what was the matter of me coming into this world in so you know i just have hopped out of the matrix you know i hopped out the matrix and i have just thought for myself and what i thought for myself is that kids don't listen you know, kids do not listen. So you mean to tell me I have to deal with that because they stop listening at the age of two. Okay, you got them till they about two and then they gonna do whatever they wanna do at that point because I don't listen. So why would I even expect another person to listen to me if I don't even listen to other people for real? So that's just the audacity we feel like we have over these little humans. And I know me. And I know my patience level. It's not there for a little one. Because if they gonna tell me, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm going to be like, do you see? I'm, I'm doing something. I'm a little bit busy, bud. But you know, I can't do that. Because you got to be gentle. And you got to be soft. And you got to sugarcoat everything. And I'm too gangster for these streets. I'm too gangster for the kids. But we got to really understand that the kids don't listen. You know, we try to say they hard-headed, but they shouldn't really listen to us anyway because we just bigger kids. We don't really got it going on. We don't really know what we're doing for real. All we did was just have sex, and the kid just ended up here. So ain't nothing really special about having a kid, but we just over-glamorize it in this society. I'm like, oh, what do you know? All you did, all you did was have sex. It takes a whole nother type of parent to actually raise a decent human being and you know because I, I i think to myself I'm, I'm, I'm pretty decent you know i'm pretty decent and you know people then try to compliment me like oh my god you will be such a great mom because you're like a decent human being we need more of you around here i'm like you know can you just say i'm just a cool cat like why can't i just be a cool cat why i gotta be like oh my god you'll be such a good mom <laughs> like you'll be such a good mom you should try that instead and i'm like you know how about we just compliment people for just being the person you know like just let's just compliment them for just being a decent kind human being because that's rare these days that's rare you know that's rare and i gotta just you know i gotta just close this off one more you know because i just posted on tiktok about how i'm just observing this generation you know i'm I'm very spooked out because this dating game is ruthless out here. I'm single and I'm like, oh my goodness. I, I have opted out family. It's it's not for everybody. And I and I just understood that. It's not for me. So this brother left a compliment. I, oh, he I guess he called this a compliment. He left a comment. And the comment said, 
Oh, you're so observant. You're going to be such a great wife one day. And I'm like, is that the only thing you think women are here for? Women don't have no other duty out here but to be somebody's wife or somebody's mother. I just, what if I want to be a comedian instead? What if I want to do that? But no, my only role in life is to be somebody's mother or somebody's wife. You know what? And I realized I just can't keep all these jokes to myself. I can't just share this joke to just one person. I gotta share it to the world, baby. I gotta share it to the world. So that's why I'm here. Thank you, family. I'm gonna catch you later. It is Tara Chantel. Hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be many, many more jokes on the way.